Welcome to PD Doo with Pili Farulla. Hello there. Okay, now we've been talking about Martin Luther King, civil rights movement, and we actually talked about Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks was the lady that refused to give up her seat for a white to a white person in Montgomery, Alabama. That led to uh, the Montgomery bus boycott because she was arrested. Well, how about if I tell you that there was someone else before her that did the same thing? When she got on that bus, she didn't know what came over her. All she knew was she sat in a seat that she apparently knew. I don't know if she knew or not, but apparently... It was going to be taken over by a white person that couldn't find a seat in the white section. And she refused to get up. Well, it turns out that it was a 15-year-old girl named Claudette Colvin. She did the exact same thing. She was getting out of school with her friends, decided to get on the bus. They were studying in school about Sojourner Truth. Um, and about Harriet Tubman, that she was inspired by these women that were suffering during right before the Civil War. And it turns out the bus driver continued to drive until he saw a police car. And when he saw the police car, he pulled over, got out of the bus, got the police on the bus to take her off the bus. And they forced her off the bus. They threw her books on the floor and they manhandled her. They took her off out of the bus and put her in jail. Okay, that scared her quite a bit. So you may ask, okay, so why didn't she become so famous like Rosa Parks? It was an age thing. Okay. She didn't become so famous like Rosa Parks because she was only 15. So they figured that being only 15 would not make the headlines. She did get picked up later on, about three hours later, by her mom and her minister. But she was too young to make an issue. Well, it turns out we have that special guest today. We have Claudette here. So let me ask a question. Claudette. What was it like being a 15-year-old and not become as famous as Rosa Parks? First of all, Peely, thank you for having me here. Let me explain this to you. It's, it's very heartbreaking for me to repeat this. I know you explained some of it. And, well, let me go ahead and explain it a little bit more in more detail for you, okay? I didn't become that famous because I was only 15 years old. I was too young, but I did fight for the rights of African Americans. I fought against segregation and it wasn't fair that I had to give up my seat and the way that I was treated and put in jail. But I did do this before Rosa Parks. Okay, I just didn't become as famous as Rosa Parks. Could you please tell us what motivated you to do this at such a young age? I mean, normally people your age wouldn't do that. What motivated me to do this? Well, it turns out that my history teacher, we were talking about uh, Harriet Tubman. And Sojourner Truth. These are African American women that were looking for ways to get equal treatment and to get freedom for the slaves. Okay? They wanted they were liberators. They wanted to be free. Now, Claudette, I know I've never been in a position like that, but could you please tell us how did you feel? I mean it really had to be a little bit uncomfortable for you. I mean, that situation is not easy. So, 
when someone came up to tell me, a white person came up to tell me that he wants to sit or she wanted to sit where I was sitting, that I had to get up because that was the law. I said no, because I felt pressure on my shoulders. I felt one side was Harriet Tubman and the other side was Sojourner Truth. Don't get up. Don't get up. You have rights like they do. Was it a man or was it a woman that forced you out of your seat? I recall it was a white woman. Now, have, feeling this pressure that from the history I had just learned from my class, I was like, I felt empowered. I was like, no, I'm not moving. I'm going to stay. No matter what happens, I'm going to stay. I can do this. I stayed and I got arrested. And I was put in jail. It was terrible. An ugly jail. You know, I had told this white woman that I paid for my bus ticket and that I didn't have to get up. It wasn't in her jurisdiction for forcing me to get up out of my seat. But they didn't care. They got the police to get me out of the bus and put me in jail. And that made me feel terrible when I heard that jail door lock in place. It was an ugly jail, let me tell you. Ugly. That'll be all for now. Thank you for joining us for part one of our special edition, Claudette Colvin. We'll be back in another day. Thanks, Claudette. Thanks again for having me here, Peely. I'll be back soon to finish our interview. Thanks.